I bet. Ooh, I give a story time in a minute though. Ooh. Last night was one of the most craziest nights, bro. Or I mean the night before last night, bro. But we'll just say it's last night because it sounds better. But even though it's not really last night, it's last night before the last night. I just say, I go lie, bro. I've had millionaire friends, bro, but I've never been spoiled by a millionaire. No homo. Like, I've never been spoiled by one, bro. So, look, this is the story time, bro. So, as you guys know, my friend Dooley, right? He goes to a boarding school, and he has a scholarship, even though he's not rich, you know? he The school pays for him to go to school and stuff like that, bro. He plays basketball and all that. Um, But the people at his school that don't play basketball and they have zero scholarships, they end up paying. And I'm telling you, to dorm over there, it's a lot of money, bro. So he has a whole bunch of fortunate and rich kids at his school, bro. And he makes friends with them because Dooley a cool-ass nigga, bro. He got the connects, bro. Dooley cool with them niggas, bro. So there's this kid in his school that is supposedly really rich because of his father, bro. And he's so he's rich to the point that instead of dorming at his school, he literally just bought a house next to the school, bro. No joke. No joke. He literally bought a house next to the school, bro. So Dooley knew this nigga for a little minute now. You know, he ended up being cool with him. The dude ends up, um, what's called? Coming to the city for a New York Knicks game. If you guys know what that is, the New York Knicks. He ends up coming to the city for a New York Knicks game. He has uh, courtside tickets. And he has two extra tickets for Dooley. He said, here's one for you and bring one of your friends. Dooley calls me. He's like, yo, yo, Sham, you want to go to the New York Knicks game? I said, shit, bro, how much is the tickets? He said, free. I said, damn, for real? We better sell all the way in the back? Like the kid, Bridge Vaux. He said, I said, we better sell all the way in the back? He said, nah. He said, he said, my boys got me. And he, they got you too, bro. I was like, for real? What the fuck? Okay. We, we valid. I was like, who this? He said, he said, he said, it's some rich ass nigga that go to his school that, that, they, that he friends with and shit, bro. I was like, what the fuck? He rich? What the fuck? I'm like, I bet. Say less. I'm going to meet you. Dude, he sends me to Addie's in Madison Square Garden. I get a lift over there. You know, I'm a little bit late. End up linking up with Dooley. He said his boys already went inside, right? The, the rich dude and his homeboy already went inside to go watch the game. So I'm like, I bet. Say, less. I'm like, yo, Dooley, how you met this nigga? He said he go to my school, and his dad owns one of the biggest car selling. What was it? Like his dad owns one of the biggest car uh, dealerships in Shanghai, China. I'm like, so the nigga got it like that? I'm like, say less. You know, no glazing, no dick suck. I'm like, oh shit, this nigga rich. Like, damn, nigga, Shanghai has some big money. We end up getting our tickets. I'm over here thinking that we about to be in the back. Nah, nigga, we not in the back. We damn near like, I want to say we in the front, but we're in the middle. And y'all niggas know the middle seats is fake expensive. I asked Dooley how much the tickets. He said it was like 700. 700 for both of us or some shit. I'm like, damn, nigga, he just spent 700 like that? I said, say less, whatever, it's cool. I said, what are we doing after this? He said he going to take us out to eat. What? Nah, no homo. Like, I'm a baddie. I get what I want, like. Nah, chill, no homo, though. Like, what the fuck? Like, what's going on? What's up? Trying to take us out to eat. I was like, we paying? We splitting the bill or some shit? He said, nah, he got us. He's taking us to some Japanese restaurant. I'm like, ah, it's calm. You know, like, you know, you know Japanese, whatever. It's fine. We watching the game. Shit lit, though. I fuck with the game. It was the Knicks versus uh the Wizards. Knicks ended up winning. Um, Like I said, whatever. We watched the game, whatever, whatever. It's time to go, right? And the dude's all the way in the front of the court side. So Dooley points him out. He said, it's the kid in the white shirt. I'm like, okay. Oh, I see what he is. He, he fake fat, though. He fake built like me type shit. So he ended up walking out. We ended up linking him in front of the Midas Square Garden. They go, where y'all at? Whatever, whatever. He ended up linking him. I meet bro for the first time. I dab him up. Cool ass nigga. I meet his, I meet his, I think it was it his brother or his cousin or some shit. I think it was his brother. I dab him up too. His brother has Cartier's on. I'm like, yo, I'm just fool. What's the fuck? I'm like, no, he's like, nah, nigga. I got bread like that. Oh shit. I'm like, say less. So we, we, it was like, I bet, you know what? We're going to wait for the Uber or some shit like that. That's what I'm thinking. He said, we got to wait for the car to slot through or something like that. I'm over here thinking it's an Uber. So the I bet, we're going to wait in Smashburger. It's a restaurant in downtown. Oh my God, but we're going to wait in here. The nigga unzips his, his sweater. A f two fat ass Cuban necklaces? Come on, this nigga's like, what? Like, I, I think he, he's 18 or he's about to turn 18 or some shit in like three days. He had a fat ass two Cuban necklaces. I was like, how much he's like, it was like, it was like, it was like 300 signed K or something like that. Like, this nigga rich as fuck. Like, yo, this nigga, what the fuck? I'm like, I bet, whatever. We waiting for the Uber. That's what I'm thinking. It's time to go. We end up walking out. A nigga come out the car. A nigga come out the car? What the fuck? I'm like, yo, why, why the Uber coming out the car? We don't have no luggage. He opens up the door for, for me, Dooley, and the nigga mans. I said, yo, who this? He says, my personal driver. What the fuck? Yo, what the? Nigga, we live in luxury? 
what the fuck? Nigga, mom ended up coming too. I think his mom is also with us, bro. He's like, whatever, whatever. Hop in the car. We hop in the... It's a nice BMW, by the way. End up hopping in the car. Drive a plane to tunes, you know, whatever. He's taking care of our seats. Like, he's making sure we feel good. I'm like, oh, shit. This nigga rich as fuck, bro. I've never been spoiled before, bro. I'm like, okay, whatever. Where we going to now? He said we going to a Japanese restaurant. I'm like, I bet. I never had no Japanese food except for like sushi and shit. But like, he said some real Japanese food. I'm like, I bet. I expected some calm shit. We stopped at the car. The restaurant is called Nobu. And I've heard of this restaurant because I was out in LA and I heard about Nobu. Nobu, Nobu is like a really expensive, like, yo, my nigga, for a meal, it's like over 150 to, to me per person. Think expensive. So I'm over here thinking that we better go to regular seating. He said, nah, we're going to VIP seating, which is downstairs. Only VIP could go downstairs. We end up going downstairs. What the fuck? The night, the night just started, by the way. I'm like, holy shit. What, the, what are we doing here, bro? We end up sitting down. He says, order whatever y'all want. Yo! I think he's like, I just and he's like, matter of fact, I'm going to order for y'all. He's like, let me get this. Let me get that. Let me get a little bit of this. Also, yeah, let me get four of those. Let me get this. Let me get how many drinks y'all want? Nigga, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> nigga, like, I'm really, yo, bro, what, bro? He just met me, by the way. Like, let's think of really that, bro. Like, this is nothing to him. Like, it, I guess really, like, $5, bro. Like, this shit really don't matter to him, bro. I'm fake Glazer right now. No homo, bro. But, anyways, he ended up talking to us. It's a cool ass nigga. He fucking with us, too. Like, for me, I y'all niggas know I'm a funny nigga. You dead, bro. OD, I'm broke. I'm mad broke. Whatever. It's, it's free each, though. You know? Mad broke. Anyways, like I said, bro, he ain't no fuck with us because I'm funny as shit. You know, I'm making niggas laugh, whatever. We talking to the mom. The mom is cool as fuck, too, by the way. Uh, the driver's also eating with us. The driver's like family. Uh, not family, but he's like he's like a friend. He's been driving him around New York for years and shit. Um, anyways, night ends. It's been about two hours. We've been talking with the families. We've been chilling, you know, happy birthday, whatever, whatever. We said that, whatever. I'm looking around the restaurant. Come on. I'm looking around the restaurant to see what our environment is. It's a whole bunch of rich girls, rich niggas, and, like, they all giving us the stare. Like, they literally giving us the stare, bro. I think because we was dressed like hoodlums or some shit like that, bro. But them niggas was fake judging us, bro. I'm like, damn, what the fuck? You know? We end up going, and then the waiter is going to be like, yo, they fight, yo, they leaving, they leaving, they leaving. I swear to God, bro. Dooley, me and Dooley heard the same thing. He's like, yo, bro, you heard that? He said, like, yeah, the, the waiter wanted us out of here, bro. I was like, yo, the nigga don't like, like, what's up? He don't like us? He don't think we deserve to be here or some shit? Nigga, wildin', bro. I'm like, it's fine. We about to go. That's what I thought. That's when I thought the night was over. I thought the night was over, bro. We hop in the V. He said, "Y'all want to go down to the telly?" Telly. I'm like, sure, whatever. It's fine. I'm gonna go down to the telly. It's fine. We are gonna see what the vibes is in time. I'm expecting a regular telly. The driver opens up the door for all of us. We hop in the V. We we drive into the telly. We walk into the telly. Luxurious as fuck, by the way. Man, niggas walking out with suits. I'm seeing Ashton Martins, Lambos. Um, BMWs, Mercedes Benz, like a whole bunch of rich cars in front of the, the alley in the in the valley and shit, bro. So nigga rich like real luxurious shit, bro. We walk in, you know, whatever we got he got a room. We walk into the room. It's on the fourth floor, by the way. We walk into the room. Looks nice as fuck. Like there's like like mad alcohol on the like cabinets and like you know, luxurious as fuck, bro. I was looking about to steal a robe. I go out them roses looking fake nice. We walk in, whatever. He said, Yo, you wanna go check out the balcony? A balcony? Say less. We walk out. Statue of Liberty right there, the city view, the, the 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 fucking the waters in front of us. Like, yo, this is a nice view right here. Yo, how much you pay for this? That's what I'm thinking in my head. I don't want to ask it. I'm like, yo, this nigga rich as fuck. Like, I'm thinking the night over, like, we just chilling. He's like, yo, you want to play 2K? 2K in the telly? What the fuck? He said, yeah, nigga bust out a P5. What? Word of my mother, this nigga bust out the P5 with the 2K. And he link it up to the TV. He said, and then the HDMI wasn't working. He said, let me make a call real quick. Room service come up, fixing up the TV. And this nigga, he's like, matter of fact, yo, we, we could also play on the monitor. He had a brunga monitor with him. I don't, yo, I'm like, yo, whoa. What the fuck is going on right now, bro? I, and it gets to the point that, like, night on God, word of my mother, bro. I swear to God, bro. We ended up just chilling. Whatever, we playing, then Dooley and I'm playing 2K, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm getting sleepy. I open up my phone. I start watching Netflix. I'm like, oh shit, whatever, it's fine, it's fine, you know, whatever. We also talking. The nigga said he's making a song with Tory Lanez. Keep my eye, I had never heard of this nigga before, bro. I'm pretty sure he just so rich that he just bought a feature from Tory Lanez, bro. He's over here talking some business talk. I swear to God, bro. Over here talking some business talk. I'm like, yo, what the fuck, bro? And yo, for the niggas that saying cap, FaceTime Dooley. Ask him how the night went down. I'm asking him how the night went down. That's all I'm going to say. I'm gonna say one by one by one what the how the night what the how the night went down.
Watch this. Dude, pick up the phone, bro. Answer the phone, bitch. Cap? Oh, God, it's not Cap. Hold on. Uh, he's not answering. But for the nigga that's saying that's Cap, I literally took... Nigga, I took flicks. What the fuck? You didn't think I was going to flex that shit? Penthouse view from the telly. Statue of Liberty. Wait, wait for the Statue of Liberty. Oh, no. It, that's, it was on IG. This is the view. Look at the view. Statue of Liberty. It's on the corner. You can't barely see it. But that's the view. This is the restaurant where we was at. Nobu. Birthday. Look at the nigga with the Cuban leg. I don't ever got a lot, bro. Knicks game. Nobu. What the fuck we got a lot for, bro? What the fuck? And he's the telly with the 2K, nigga. What I got a lot for, bro? You posted it. I'm saying I posted it, bro. Never lying. Tight shit. End of the night come. Bro, tired as fuck, bro. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go to Uber. He said, what y'all want to do tomorrow? Another adventure? What's the word? He said, you ain't trying to play ball? I can rent out a gym. Rent? For only us? Say less. I ain't gonna have to wait now. To be continued, though. That's it. That's all you got to do is get. That's enough for right now. Bro. Oh, I didn't tell y'all. No, I forgot. Chad, we're gonna have to rewind real quick. I forgot. A lot of yo, no, don't say W story time yet. It gets better. I forgot about the main thing that happened, bro. I forgot about the main thing that happened, bro. I'm gonna re reset the, the hotel. Whatever, we coming to the hotel. We playing 2K. He says, right before we leave, oh God, look, this no no no, it's not to be continued. Word of my mother, I swear to God, bro. W script, never a script, never a script in my life. In the hotel, he said, Yo, y'all wanna go to the club? The club? There's a club in the hotel? He says, yes. I said, we out. All of us, all of us, his man's, whatever, his mom is also with us. She said, let's go to the club. The mom's feeling to go to the club, by the way. We end up going to the club. Club's on the sixth floor. It's like the sixth floor. We walk in. It's 2 a.m., by the way. We walk in. White bitches, rich bitches, rich niggas. Um, fucking, like, my niggas, like, yo, a bar, bro. Like, a literally, like, a club. A club. We walk in. We be a while. We see the smoochie. I go like, y'all niggas know me. I think get goofy. I swear to God, it's not cap. I think get goofy, bro. I think be like, I go like, she look bad, bro. She look bad. The nigga was laughing. I go like, he nigga about dick though. The nigga was laughing. Bro. I had niggas laughing. I'm over here talking to the whatever the girls over there, you know, in the elevator and shit. Like, hey, what's up? I have whatever. Hi. Have a nice day type shit. Cause these niggas is too scared to like talk to the girls. So I'm over here like just spitting gay. I like fucking whatever. We go to the receptionist or, or whoever the fuck the club person is. He said, yeah, the club is closed. They closed at two a.m. I'm like, all right, bet, say less. We end up going back into the uh, elevator. Three girls walk in, and I'm looking at my man's dually. We have the eye contact, if you don't know. When me and my man's throw the eye contact, that means, yo, we got to figure out to get on time. We figure out to sauce up right now. Dooley not jacking it. <laughs> He's like, we was not jacking it, bro. Niggas was not jacking it, bro, whatever. That's what happened. We end up going back downstairs. Niggas end up running the game with 2K, with Dooley, whatever, whatever. And then we go, bro. Video evidence? Bro, if Dooley pick up the phone, he'll run you down on the whole night, bro. I swear to God, bro. I, nigga, you must be a new nigga. I never lie about story times, bro. All I, all I know, W story time, though. That shit, bro. I'm telling you, all in one day. All, bro, you know what's crazy, though? A lot of niggas, like, no dick suck. A lot of niggas not going to experience that, bro. It's like, bro, a rich nigga spoiling y'all? A lot of these rich niggas be greedy, bro. On God, bro.